So for this problem, this is the of nonlinear equations using the substitution method. So from this given, so first, we need to isolate one variable and always choose that variable that there is no exponent and no number. So since from this given, x is the variable that no exponent and no number, so we need to isolate x and to isolate x, transpose this negative 2y to the other side. So this becomes x equals this negative 2y becomes positive 2y, then copy this negative 3. Then from this equation, we need to substitute this x to this x. So this equation becomes, since x is equal to 2y minus 3, so we need to replace this x by 2y minus 3. Then to simplify, so to expand the square of e binomial, so using the shortcut method, the SMS, so S, the square of the first term, so that's 2y times 2y, this is 4y squared. Then M, multiply these three numbers, so 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6, negative 6 times 2, that's negative 12y. Then the last s, the square of the last term. So the square of 3, this is positive 9. Then bring down this negative y squared and transpose this positive 24. So this becomes negative 24, then equal 0. Then combine like terms, so this 4y squared, negative y squared, or negative 1y squared. So we have 4 minus 1, that's positive 3y squared. Then bring down this negative 12y and this positive 9 minus 24. So 9 minus 24, this is negative 15 equals 0. Then observe that these three numbers are divisible by 3. So we need to reduce and this becomes y squared. Then this 12 divide by 3. That's negative 4y. And negative 15 divided by 3, that's negative 5, then equals 0. Then from this quadratic equation, so we can use quadratic factoring to solve for y. So first, the factors for y squared, so this is y times y, and the factors for 5, that's 5 times 1. So since the middle term is negative, so therefore the bigger number must be negative. So this is negative 5 and this is positive 1. Then to solve for y, equate these two factors to 0. So therefore y equals positive 5 and y equals negative 1. So these are the two values for y. Then we can solve now for x from this equation. x equals 2y minus 3. So first, at y equals positive 5. So from this equation, this becomes x equals 2 times y and y is positive 5, then this 2 times 5, so we have 10 minus 3. So therefore, x is equal to positive 7. Then the second value for y, y is negative 1. 
So from this equation, n y is equal to negative 1. So we have 2 times negative 1. This is negative 2. And negative 2 minus 3. So the same negative you add and copy the sign. So x equals negative 5. So therefore, the solution sets for the system is x 7, y is 5, and x is negative 5, y is negative 1.